Jesus' comments on the vision of his departure from Nazareth to commence his public life, which will end at Golgotha, and the vision which shows the sorrow that his mother experiences at that departure. Jesus says, This is the fourth sorrow of Mary, mother of God. The first was the presentation in the temple. The second, the flight into Egypt. The third, the death of St. Joseph. The fourth, my separation from her. As I knew the desire of your spiritual father, yesterday evening I told you that I will hasten the description of our sorrows so that they may be known. But as you see, some of my mother's had already been illustrated. I explained the flight before the presentation because it was necessary to do so on that day. I know. You understand and you will explain the reason to the father verbally. I have planned to alternate your contemplations and my consequent clarifications with true and proper dictations. To comfort you and your spirit, granting you the beatitude of seeing and also because in this way the difference in style between your composing and mine will be obvious. You can see there, it's an interesting point. Um, when the vision is being described, that's Maria Valtorta composing. But whenever Jesus is, say, describing or, or talking about one of the visions that's happened, that's a direct um, reporting of his speech by Maria Valtorta. She's simply recording what he's dictating to her. And so there should be a difference in style. And that is him saying, look, that can aid in showing the authenticity of these visions. Because people don't normally pass between one style and another. And that suggests this is really Jesus who's speaking to her and not her imagination. Further, with so many books dealing with me, and which after so many revisions, changes and fineries have become unreal, I want to give those who believe in me a vision brought back to the truth of my mortal days. I'm not diminished thereby. On the contrary, I'm made greater in my humility, which becomes substantial nourishment for you, to teach you to be humble and like me, as I was a man like you. And in my human life, I bore the perfection of a God. I was to be your model and models must always be perfect. In the contemplations, I will not keep a chronological order corresponding to that of the Gospels. I will select the points which I find more useful on that day for you or for other people, following my own line of teaching and goodness. The lesson of the contemplation of my separation is addressed especially to those parents and children whom God's will calls to renounce one another for the sake of a greater love. It also applies to all those who have to face a painful renouncement. How many such sorrowful situations you find in your lives. They are thorns on the earth and they pierce your hearts, I know. But for those who accept them with resignation, mind, I'm not saying, quotes for those who wish them and accept them with joy, unquote, which is already perfection. I'm saying with resignation, they become eternal roses. But only few people resign themselves to accepting them. Like restive little donkeys, you recalcitrate against the Father's will, and you jib, and you even try at times to hit good God with spiritual kicks and bites, that is, with rebellion and blasphemy. And do not say, quotes, I had but this good thing and God took it away. I had but this affection and God took it away, unquote. Also Mary, a gentlewoman, 
with perfect love. Because in the Virgin full of grace, also affections and sensations were perfect. Also Mary had but one good thing and one love on the earth, her son. The only thing left to her. Her parents had died a long time before. Joseph had died some years earlier. Only I was left to love her and make her feel she was not alone. Now, just a little pause there. I've um, already produced a video on the death of St. Joseph, but it's not located in time. It is cl clearly before Jesus' public ministry, because I think Maria describes Jesus as looking quite young, although an adult. Now Jesus tells us Joseph died some years previously, so I had been wondering whether it was just before the public ministry began. I guess that would be a bit harsh because Mary would be having to try to get over the death of her husband at the same time as getting over the loss of Jesus to the world. So as Joseph died some years earlier, I suppose we could guess between three and seven years earlier. And that is useful to locate that particular very important event in the Holy Family's life. 